gosh, come on. Ah. Uh, yeah. Don't be a dumb bitch. This is Tiger Lugly. I cannot speak. I can't speak. I need water, apparently. Okay. I'm trying to calm down. For some reason, I'm nervous. Okay, that's better. Hello, all my fellow star travelers. This is Tiger Lily, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for joining me here today, and I hope you all like, comment, and subscribe. It only takes a second, but it really makes my day. In today's video, if you couldn't tell from the title, I'm going to be giving you the rundown on my six-month uh, HRT update. And basically running from month one to six on all the changes that I've noticed since I started HRT uh, back in April of this year. Without any further ado, um, let's get into this video. Month one, I really didn't notice any changes. Um, until about month two when I noticed um, that I started to develop a really really sore um, chest uh, to put it politely. Other than a little bit of soreness and tenderness um, I didn't really notice any um, development um, at all um, but I'm not really sad about that because um, I really didn't start with nothing to begin with, so um, that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> By far the best changes started happening at the end of the second month uh, into the start of the third month of HRT, which was the mental change. Um, before starting HRT, I was literally in the worst clinical depression of my entire life. I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder, and I was on a crazy cocktail of benzodiazepines, um, NSAIDs, opioids, uh, medical marijuana, um, and just a cocktail of these prescription drugs that were given to me by my psychiatrist, and um, none of them were helping. Once my brain got the right hormones in it, boom, magically, it goes away. Completely goes away. And not only was I able to pull myself out of this uh, depression, um, thanks to having the right uh, chemicals in my brain, finally, um, I was also able to get off of all of the uh, benzodiazepines, uh, which I was taking a ridiculous amount, um, all by myself, and I got rid of all this medication and so literally all my medicine is is my estradiol, my bicalutamide, um, and uh, a folic acid because I take uh, my estradiol uh, sublingually which means underneath the tongue um, and the folic acid is just like to help protect my gums. Yeah, that's the best change that's happened so far and that was into the start of the third month. I was also really surprised that I was, for the first time, I felt in control of my food, how much food I was eating, and didn't feel like I was, like, eating out of impulse or anxiety anymore, um, which was amazing. Um, and since then, um, since, uh, what was it, June? Since June 1st, um, I've lost a little bit of weight. <laughs> um, all told, um, since then, I've lost uh, 54 pounds. Um, and I really haven't been trying to lose weight. Um, I am still recovering from a really bad uh, series of foot injuries. Um, broken metatarsals, um, which took three months to heal. And then right after it got healed, somehow I tear three ligaments around the cuboid bone uh, in the same exact foot. And it's been seven months um, healing, and I still have a few months to go. Um, but I have gained a bunch of strength um, in it, um, and I'm getting stronger just walking and uh, doing things like that. And hopefully within a year, my goal is to lose another... Um, 
roughly around 120, 130 ish pounds, hopefully, um, which uh, I know I'm going to achieve because uh, food doesn't rule my life anymore. <laughs> so uh, that's also another really awesome change that's happened. Okay, into um, the third month of HRT. Um, I noticed um, that my skin had started to become a lot softer. Um, and along with the skin becoming softer, I noticed on my hairline um, that up in here, um, when I go like this, there's um, new baby hairs that have started to grow, uh, which is really awesome. Another um, really cool uh, side effect of the HRT that I noticed was um, that it's helped um, quite a little bit um, with some fine lines I had in my forehead um, to pretty much go away. Um, I also have a really good skincare routine that I may do a video on um, at another uh, time. Uh, for now, um, I think the like most effects of like the little fine lines I had on my forehead were thanks to a uh, boost in collagen production in my face uh, that has started um, and has basically faded that wrinkle away, which is awesome. Along with um, it fading some fine lines on my face, another strange little uh, side effect was that I noticed my body odor had changed. Um, and, like, it took me a very long time to, like, realize this. Um, because I, I, I'm very, like, OCD, clean, uh, and, like, have to be clean. I cannot go to sleep without taking a shower and being clean. It's, it just doesn't feel right. I can't sleep. Well, um, a more recent change, um, I would have to say it probably happened around, um, the four, uh, four and a half month mark which is, um, I noticed, um, my body hair, like, I didn't think this change was going to happen so fast, um, but, like, on my arm, ar arm hair right here, like, I have a little bit of dark hair right here, which I'm not too fond of, um, but for the most part, my arm hair on both arms has thinned out, um, and kind of gone a little baby hairish, which is also very much appreciated. Um, one change um, that I was hoping to see, um, but I haven't seen yet, um, is the fat redistribution. I just know I have to be patient um, because I don't have a butt and I want a butt. I just have to be patient and um, things will come with time. <laughs> I hope. Also, um, one of the uh, weirder um, symptoms that I've seen uh, so far is one that I read about that was possible. And I had my sneaking suspicions for like the last three months. Um, but it's possible for trans women to develop uh, a type of PMS cycle. For me, personally, um, I notice pretty much around the same time every month for the last three months now. Um, I will have a uh, headache um, like for a couple days, which is very... Uh, I never used to have headaches at all, really. Very rarely did I get a headache. Um, and th even then, it was like related to like a neck issue or a back issue or my shoulder like locked up or something and was pulling weirdly, but anyway, it was always like, like, oh, I know the cause of my headache, um, but i just been getting headaches out of the blue, and really, really bad headaches, and um, also some, like, weird scum stomach tr uh, cramping, and I'll notice that, like, I'll get a little bit of water, more water retention. I hold tons of water anyway, but I 
think I get more, um, a little bit more bloated, um, because it messes with my stomach, too. Um, but, like, the worst, uh, symptom is, is definitely the, uh, mood swings, uh, the roller coaster that you go on. Um, it's like, I'll end up crying for no reason, um, type of stuff. Um, and it's just like, get a hold of yourself, girl. Like, holy crap. Like, for real. Um, like, what is going on? And then the next, like, then I'll be fine. And then, yeah. Yeah. It's a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> um, but anyway, that has been happening. And I'm just, like, keeping track and seeing if around next month that... Uh, it happens again, and I'll keep you updated if it does. <laughs> also, another update, um, not really HRT related, um, but still, uh, update is, uh, the laser hair removal, uh, progress I've made so far. Um, I, it still has a, a ways to go, um, but I'm very happy with, uh, the results I've gotten so far. So, um, that's pretty much, um, about it for, um, HRT updates and, uh, all the changes that I've noticed so far. Um, I really wish HRT would, like, affect your vocal cords. Um, I need, I desperately need some, like, voice lessons. And, uh, they're just too expensive right now for me to have them. Um, but I desperately, desperately want them. It's literally going to be the only thing on my Christmas list. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really dysphoric about my voice. The sound of my voice. Um, really, really bad. Um, I will get into, uh, story time about that. I can make a whole video on that. Um, and it's a good chance it's gonna make me cry, which is why I'm not trying to get into it here. For next month, I actually have um, a doctor's appointment with my endocrinologist. Um, it's a video appointment. Um, and I will be uh, updating you on how uh, the appointment goes and about any new changes uh, that happen that I notice um, when they uh, happen in uh, later videos. If you've made it this far, thank you, wonderful people from the bottom of my heart, and remember, we're all here to love and lift each other up. I'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye.